Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna be filming something. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I know that I want to film a video because my boyfriend is in here, my parents are taking care of my baby, so I figured, you know what, let me just go ahead and try something new on my eyes and yeah, so you know what, I think I might do a full face of new makeup. Um, because I think I have a lot of things that I can use that are new. Um, I'm not sure about like lip colors and stuff, but I just kind of want to chat with you guys and like get ready and stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I always do, and you guys already know, is prime my eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids off camera. Once I have my eyelids primed, now we can get uh, started with eyeshadow. You know what? I might just do a matte colorful eye look today. And I'm going to be using the Slush 2 palette from some Temporose Cosmetics. I need to wash my brushes because I used my brushes the other day and I didn't wash them. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the shade called Screwdriver, which is a yellow. I'm going to go ahead and place that color in the beginning of my eye. Flip this back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the shade. Should we use red wine or should we go for an orange? You know what? We're gonna go for a green. I'm gonna go ahead and get the shade called Apple Cider and apply it in the middle. And if you have the Cara Beauty Girl Scout palette, you can totally recreate this look. The reason that I'm using September Rose Cosmetics is because I want to support as many indie brands as I can. And I love September Rose Cosmetics. And they're really, really sweet. Um, they always have really good sales as well. So that's technically when I take advantage because since I do live in the US, I have to pay for the international shipping so it's a little bit more costly um so whenever they do have a sale or they offer free shipping on a certain amount is when i like to take advantage of them okay last but not least i'm not done blending yet and you can see that i have a little bit of fallout but that's completely fine because i haven't applied any face makeup yet so i'm gonna grab a this is a Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. By the way, the brushes that I use, uh, yeah, these are two brands of uh, brushes. And I get these brushes from Amazon. So if you guys want direct links or if you guys want me to do like an Amazon brushes that I recommend, let me know. I bought so many brushes when I was pregnant because I wanted to try out a lot from Amazon because I heard that there were really good ones. So if you guys hear any screaming, that's my brother playing a game gamers need help so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use this another amazon brush and i'm gonna go into the shade called blue diablo and that's um gonna go in my very like the very outer part I'm just going to focus now on blending all of those shades. And I'm sorry I zoomed you guys into like really, really late. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of putting more of apple cider into the shade called Screwdriver. As well as applying more of Blue Diablo into apple cider. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean off all the fallout just so I can really get a close-up look of what I'm working with. I'm gonna use some micellar water because I find that the micellar water cleans up a little bit nicely than And I don't want to keep it just like this. I feel like it'll look really, really dope with, uh, you know, some, like, what's it called? Just blending. Just taking more of the eyeshadow and blending. I'm going to be using the Suva Beauty Hydro Liners. I'm going to use a shade called Dance Party as well as a shade called freeze freezy um and they're both matte and you they're water activated so i can make any color i please as well as just wet them and apply them on my eyes so we're gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna start off with doing the shade freezy in my inner corner and then we're gonna mix uh we're gonna put the shade called um dance party in the middle and then do the full wing with the shades mix because I feel like you'll be able to see them better. If I were to do every color, it's not going to show up as nicely. So we're going to do some ombre liner. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and get my setting spray. You can use setting spray. You can use water. I'm going to go ahead and use the photo finish priming water from a Smashbox. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a shade called Dance Party. Okay, so once I have it on, I know it looks a little bit messy, but I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes and my mascara. Once I'm done with the other eye, I will come back and we'll finish up the face. Okay, guys, so we're officially done and, you know, I, we can move on to the face. So for today, I want to try out a couple of new products. I don't tend to put on anything when I'm going to do like eyeshadow first because there's no point. I'm just going to end up wiping off the moisturizer. So yeah, I'm just gonna make sure that my face is clean, that I have no makeup on. For the face, I'm just gonna go in with my Ole Henriksen cream. Apply her all over my entire face. And then after that, I'm just gonna apply some of the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Which I really enjoy this eye cream a lot. I actually really like their products. And let that sit for a little bit. While that sits, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I pretty much do my eyebrows really quickly because, I mean, once they're already carved out, I don't really have like a lot of issues or I don't have to waste a lot of time filling them in. Okay, so once I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and try out a new primer. Uh, this is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. And I've heard a lot of good things, but, you know, um, I haven't tried it out yet. So I'm going to do one pump. Even though I did two. Maybe that's a lot. I'm just going to go ahead and apply her all over my face. I like to pat the primer in just in case it like does say it's supposed to like, you know, uh, make your pores look better. But already you guys, like, my skin looks 
so like dewy and really really nice so i'm really really pleased um i'm gonna be trying a foundation today um a new foundation so for foundation i'm gonna be using the dose of colors meet your hue medium to full coverage foundation the reason that i'm using this foundation is because dose of colors did have a flash sale a while back dose of colors did i have a 50 percent off flash sale for three days and i picked up Actually, I picked up nothing for the first two days. The first day was the whole Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse collection. And then the second day was like eyeliners, lip liners, and single shadows. And then for the third day was base products. So the sponges, um, the concealers, and the foundation. So I was all for it. I've always wanted to try out this foundation. So hopefully it's my shade. Let's hope it doesn't oxidize because I think I just did like barely like close to the shade i was supposed to get as you guys can see it looks a little bit peachy but we're gonna go ahead and blend it out um i'm using this uh essence sponge and i'm just gonna go ahead and work that into my face it's supposed to be like really good coverage i'm not sure if like let me see It's looking pretty full, actually. The foundation actually looks really really good obviously i do have some texture because i have a big old breakout right there but to be honest like i really like how it looks like and this isn't even with um like setting powder or anything it looks really really flawless on the skin so do we have a new favorite we might if it doesn't look too cakey with powder we might have just done something so I'm going to go ahead and use the Meet Your Hue concealers and I actually got two shades. The reason that I got two, I actually wanted to get like two different highlight shades but then I was like, you know what girl, if one doesn't work, like this is very light but we're going to try it out. Um, I did get one for contouring, that's what I was getting to but I talked too much and actually that looks pretty good. I feel like it's going to be a good highlight shade, not too bright but... We don't always need something too bright. I actually really like how it looks. Hopefully it's, I don't think it's too close of a match to the foundation. So I'm gonna just place this where I normally highlight and use that same essence sponge. And I actually really like the sponge. Like the sponge is actually really nice. I'm able to get underneath of my eyes, um, you know, just like everywhere you would normally want to get really close to. I'm able to get into the inner corner. Just looking at the coverage and it's so good. Like, I'm genuinely so impressed with these products. It's also due to like the primer maybe, but I really like how they look on my skin. Like, it doesn't look bad. Okay, just want to make sure it's really nicely diffused on the forehead. So, so far everything looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and use the contour shade. So, the shade that I picked up was 25 Dark for all my ladies of color. Um, this is what the shade looks like. Of course, I'm really pale. I'm really light. So, I wouldn't really know about like undertones and stuff. The only person that really is like in detail and... Um, <laughs> With all that is Miss Jackie Aina, but I'm pretty sure Jackie 
did review this concealer. Of course, this is a dark shade. I don't know how it's going to blend out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this quickly. And I'm just going to use my sponge to diffuse that. I totally could have gotten a lighter shade to contour with. This one I just feel like it can get really bad really quick. But it seems to be blending out pretty nicely. But it is very warm. I wanted something a little bit more cold tone. Not too cold tone, but just a little bit more cold tone than this. So you just want to make sure that you're blending like very quickly and dabbing. You don't want to swipe ever because then you're just going to wipe away the product and it's going to look a little bit patchy. So patting, just like stippling the sponge into the concealer is going to work perfectly fine. We're going to blend, girl. Okay, so the nose contour actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and blend it out a little bit with the blender. But for the most part, you guys, I really like how the products look. I think they look really, really nice. Of course, I could have done better blending here and there. But I'm going to go ahead and like we'll keep blending. Um, I just wanted to make sure the initial product was blended. But it still looks really nice. It looks really bronzy. And, you know, obviously we still... Like, I don't even think... I have to go in with like a regular bronzer to be honest. So yeah, I want to keep the nose contour like that a little bit. I'm just going to kind of diffuse it a tiny bit more. But for the most part, I just want it to look blended. And blending it into your like eyebrow, into like this little round area, is going to not make it so... You just contoured your nose. It's going to look a little bit more. Um, I always, I don't know why I always, literally, I always put a dark contour right there. And then I sometimes forget to blend it out and it's so embarrassing. I have people are like, oh my god, that girl's just a veneer makeup. I'm just going to go ahead and set really quickly with the products. Just because... I don't want anything looking too matte. I want everything looking just like very skin like. So I'm just gonna pat that in before I go in and set with the powder. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now. Let me zoom you guys in really quickly. So this is what my face looks like right now. As you guys can see, it looks pretty well set. Um, if anything, I just need to set like underneath of my eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and add some powder directly underneath of my eyes. take a little bit more of that translucent powder and I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face
Okay guys, so I pretty much just added a hot pink to the lower lash line. I used the shade called Pink Mojo. And then I added some blush, some bronzer, and we're gonna go ahead and just do the lips and the highlights. So, um, I'm gonna try... Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to my stripped down MAC lip pencil and just line my lips. Yeah, for highlight, I'm going to take the um, Omrezi highlight since that's the one I have closest to me and that's the one that I like. Um, how is it that I have so many highlights and a mess, girl? I don't even have so many highlights, like I feel like as people would expect me to have. I'm actually pretty good at like not having like a ton of foundations and stuff, but I do have a bunch of eyeshadows. Okay, and then for my actual, like, I said I had a hair, and that hair did not go in. There we go. I'm just going to take the highlight. Oh, I love this highlight so much. If you have a favorite highlight. I'd love to try something new. Okay guys, so this is a completed makeup look. I also uploaded some type of video to TikTok. So if you guys want to go ahead and follow me, I'll go ahead and leave it down below. But basically all of my socials are at Ari and the Glam and the only one that is not that is YouTube. So yeah, this is the this is the completed look. But yeah guys, that is pretty much the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As far as the products that I did try out, I'm going to go ahead and keep you guys updated. This obviously is the only, the first time that I've tried the products. So, you know, I like them at first. Um, but my thoughts can always change and my skin can always change and react differently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure to follow on all my social medias. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and getting me to 2,000 subscribers. A giveaway is coming very, very soon. So please stay tuned. If you guys are not subscribed already, please make sure to do so. So you guys are always up to date on my content and turn on your post notifications so that way you guys never miss an upload from me and that is pretty much it you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye stay safe